Hi guys, I'm Andre and today I'm going to give you my review of the Alesis V49 MIDI controller. I would like to start off by telling you what your options are in this price range. So in this category of products, you have the M Audio Keystation 49, which is about the same price, maybe 10 or 15 euros cheaper. The main difference between those two products is that the Alesis offers a much better value, having at about the same price additional additional features such as 8 uh, velocity sensitive backlight drum pads, 4 assignable buttons and 4 assignable knobs. For those features alone you would have to pay uh, in a separate product, product at least uh, half the price of the entire MIDI controller. So in this review I'm going to present you why this is probably your best option for a MIDI controller in this price range and even above that. If you have a lot more money to spend on a MIDI controller, I would consider something from Novation, but otherwise this is probably the best product that you can get. I'm going to start by talking about the build quality of the product. Of course, all MIDI controllers and keyboards in general are made out of plastic, but this one is as good as it gets. It's not too heavy nor too light and the plastic has almost a soft touch feeling to it. The main point of interest for this product is of course the 49 keys. They are waterfall style non-weighted key, uh, velocity sensitive keys. Waterfall style means that it doesn't have that gap between the keys. Um, just like a real piano and even though the keys are not weighted, uh, being waterfall style definitely gives them some weight. Moving over to the left side, we have four assignable knobs, which are backlighted. Uh, the mod wheels, four assignable buttons, which are also backlighted. And my favorite, one of my favorite parts of this keyboard, uh, the eight velocity sensitive backlight drum pads. They are extremely good. Uh, combining them with uh, the four assignable buttons, you can have a lot more patterns, so you can multiply uh, 8 with 4 and get a lot more p p patterns to use for your drum sounds and uh, even other sounds and doesn't have to be drums or snares and things like that. For this category of products the range of reviews and information in general is pretty limited and they usually don't really show you how to set up the product nor are they showing how the product actually works together with your DAW which means digital audio workstation such as FL Studio, Ableton Live or Logic Pro and speaking of Ableton Live uh, the Elysis keyboard uh, MIDI controller actually comes with Ableton Live Lite which is a slightly stripped down version of Ableton Live, but it still has all the features that you need to get you started into the music production industry. So now in FL Studio, I'm going to show you how you can set up the drum pad and also the knobs and uh, the buttons. So. What you need to do first is select the multi-link to controllers and now you should play around randomly with four uh, knobs in FL Studio and now you should do the same thing with the knobs on your MIDI controller and they're all set up as you can see, I'm not using the mouse and I can control each one of them this way by Now, in order to uh, set up the drum pad, what you need to do is you go to channels and go to FPC, which is a plugin, a built-in plugin in F for drum pads. And what you need to do is go to one of those arrows and uh, select empty it will empty uh, up the banks and then what you need to do select this arrow and 
select map nodes for entire bank okay um, and what you need to do now is just uh, tap each one of them from left to right from bottom to top And now in the Elysis V49 uh, editor, you should go to Keybed and the first setting that you want to play with in order to find uh, the best uh, option for your project is the velocity curve on the Keybed, which uh, its default position is 4, but you can choose f uh, from 8 velocity curve presets which uh, that are ranging from 0 to 7 uh, what I normally use is 2 uh, you can experiment with them and uh, uh, see how it uh, works for your respective project and uh, in order for this to work you should go to options device setup and you should, se should select uh, the V49 on both uh, the input and the output and select OK and then in the main uh, tab you can uh, save the preset that you've made and uh, in order to make it work you have to send preset uh, to select this send preset to hardware and this is pretty much all the setup that uh, you need in conclusion i definitely recommend this product or its brothers the v25 and the v61 Hope you liked both the review and the setup of the product because videos like this are pretty hard to find, especially if you are searching about a certain product. Also in a few days I will release Final Send, a soundtrack written and composed by me, so make sure to subscribe to the channel in order to see uh, both my work and uh, some of my friends work. And we will have a lot more tutorials and reviews and if you have any questions about this product or other products uh, or questions in general, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below or to contact me with uh, through my email address. So anyway guys, uh, take care and listen to good music.